There is a huge problem caused all around the world by plastic waste in the environment, where it lies or floats around for decades and breaks up into microplastics. Well, wouldn't it be great if the plastic, once it's actually used its, its life, disappeared like a, a twig or a, or a leaf? Well, the great thing is it can. You know, we feel it's important to reuse and recycle plastics if possible. But if it does find its way into the environment, then we need to have an insurance policy so that it will disappear in a timely manner. And that's simply the technology that we have. The problem with non-degradable plastics is that when they fragment in the environment, they're physically smaller, but they're still um, very much a polymer, so they're not accessible to microorganisms. Now these materials are known to accumulate toxins and environmental pollutants that can then concentrate up the food chain. There's a real concern that we're contaminating our own food supply. So part of what we do is communicate globally and say to people, treat your plastic with this technology and you won't have that problem. The magic of the technology is converting the plastic into something that microorganisms can recognise as a food source. We're talking about bacteria and fungi, so using the, the products of uh, polymer degradation, so they're no longer a polymer, they're low molecular weight, they're oxidised. So these microorganisms recognise these as, as the organic molecules that they would normally use as, as either a source of uh, fuel for respiration or a source of um, carbon for growth and repair. So here we are, this is the world of oxo-biodegradable plastic. It's been available in all these countries for about 10 years. Uh, it's being used in these, in these countries for um, shopping bags, for food wrappers, for chocolate bar wrappers, for all sorts of everyday items. In all of these countries, they've got the same problem as we all have got, plastic litter getting into their environment, and they do not want it lying around for 50 years. So they're using oxo-biodegradable plastic um, all these countries are, uh, but not so much in the United States, uh, the UK and Europe, because it's the countries in the Middle East here who've understood the importance of OXO technology, and they've actually legislated to make it compulsory for everyday items. Here, here is a good example of a product that we actually created. It can be recycled. And if it needs to uh, be reused and reused and reused, it can. But if it ends up in the environment, in our oceans in particular, or in our open environment where animals will consume it and drains are blocked, we know that this is going to unzip, is going to degrade, is going to eventually biodegrade. And the carbon value, the carbon that went into this, that's going to be shared back into the ecosystem. It's going to return to nature. Not long ago, a whale was washed up on a beach in England and its stomach was found to be full of plastic bags. Now, if oxo-biodegradable technology had been used for those bags, most of them would have degraded long before the whale had a chance to eat them. I don't think finance has got anything to do with this because uh, it's really... Um, it doesn't cost very much extra, hardly anything extra, to use OXO technology. So it's just a question of whether the government is sufficiently interested in, in protecting the environment. Now they all say they are. They're all going on almost every day about how environmentally friendly they are and how their policies are. Oh, we're going to recycle this, we're going to incinerate that, we're going to stop landfill. They talk a lot about it, but they don't do anything practical to solve the problem of that proportion of the plastic waste which gets out into the open environment all around the world, into the sea and onto the land. They're not doing what they ought to be doing, and that is using a new technology which is available to make sure that that plastic waste will not be there in a few months' time, let alone 50 years. So for the first time ever, we have a technology that updates, that improves, that makes this piece of plastic smarter thus removing the main objection of using it. So people don't need to make a change, they just need to upgrade the plastic. The genius of this product is that we are not changing the, the item itself. It is still plastic polymer. But what we're doing is we're adding something that will create an insurance policy that if it does end up in the environment, then it'll actually go back to being just carbon and water and the things that we know exist in the environment.